All right, uh, kind of an exciting addition to my um, equipment and for this channel. Um, I have been looking for an 044 probably for over a year now, and this one popped up. I was able to get it. Uh, it's in really great shape. Before I start kind of taking anything apart here, um, I will put some photos at the end of like the piston, um, the muffler insides, that'll be all at the end. Uh, I was like so excited when I got it. I just wanted to kind of make sure it worked. Um, I haven't been able to really run it uh, hard yet to make sure everything's great, but just ran it a couple times to make sure it, it ran and would restart fine. But I already started, you know, putting some stuff on it. But I'll, once again, I will put photos at the end of how it came to me. Um, so first of all, uh, 044, um, like I said, I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for over a year. I love my 046, but you know, everyone talks about the 044 and I've never had one, I've never run one, and I finally found one. So um, I, you know, was patient, you know, stuff shows up on Marketplace. I just, I wanted one that looked good and came from a good source and it didn't look like it was just uh, neglected. I, I didn't want to really rebuild one. I wanted one that would hopefully be good to go. So uh, my understanding is this was a West Coast Fallers backup saw and just never really got used for actual real cutting. And when I look at it, that looks accurate. The Any wear on it seems to be from sitting or maybe in and out of a truck, but not wear really from cutting. So uh, let's, I'll just give you the quick look at it first. You know, we've got you know, you never see this. The the plastic protective is still on the badge. Um, the uh, UL listing sticker, perfect condition. You know, where you usually put your foot, perfect condition. Um, there's only a slight cut, once again, in, in the handle. You can probably see it there, maybe not. You know, ignore the Egan straight shot. I, I had to throw that on right away. But, um, you know, that all looks good. You know, like I said, this is storage wear. This is not use wear. Um, the handles, otherwise from that cut, is in completely perfect condition. It's not worn out where your hands would go. Um, on this side, when you pull up the elastic start, there is no wear on that. Um, hardly any tool marks on the caps. Stickers there. Um, it has all the old lines, so it doesn't have any upgrade like ethanol um, resistant lines, but I don't run ethanol fuel. You know, safety warning sticker, perfect condition. Part of the, sorry, part of the tag from the serial number is still on the front. There is no, you know, wear on the front really from it rubbing. There's a little bit of, you know, tree, I'll call it tree debris on this. Uh, just kind of sitting on there, that'll clean off. Um, I didn't really want to clean much. Uh, one thing I was not expecting to see, because I've never had, you know, one of these metal tag saws before, is uh, I didn't realize the plates were completely different on this generation. So let me pull this off. So you can see this side. You know, once again, this deflector and everything on here is like in perfect condition. You know, that's just from being bolted on and off. It's, there's no, ch you know, it's dirty. There's no chain wear, no chain wear. Uh, doesn't look like the chain ever came off. Never threw a chain. You know, there's just minimal junk once again on the rubber. Uh, what, what I was saying before, I've never seen one of these plates before. I'm used to the ones with the screw. So this actually is on with uh, like tension on the bar studs. Um, so I've never seen something like that before. But once again, look at, there's no wear in any of this paint. The plate is in absolutely perfect condition. Just, a, you know, a touch dirty. Um, no protector on the bottom. So this wouldn't be like a 440 or the Magnum models. Uh, bottom is extremely clean. Once again, just like in and out a truck minimal paint loss on the magnesium parts um looks like a, me, painted 
I don't know. Once again, this is the saw I think is from like 95. So this is my first time seeing some of the parts that are this old. It's got all the gold color hardware. Uh, it's just, it's, you know, something new for me that I've only really seen online. Uh, never in person, you know, this band is, works perfectly. Uh, the safety, uh, I'll have photos again on the, at the end, but this looks like a 12 millimeter uh, slant fin. Um, interesting things like that, but let me uh, pop this back open here. So I do, I have a max fall in order, so let me just pop this open. Uh, my understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong or if you can confirm in the comments. I date this to 95 from the, the serial number, which would coincide with the change in the filter. So this is one of the, you know, three, you got the inner, you got the band, and you got the normal um, kind of wire in there. So this would have been one of the first ones that had the rubber air filter, HD style. And here's my question for everyone. You can see this had uh, the area for the rubber gasket on the filter base. It's clearly not there. And someone has done an excellent job of like siliconing them closed. Someone that was into this stuff, can you please confirm my understanding is Steel puts out um, some kind of shop memo in 95 uh, advising if you're running a rubber, you know, an HD that has the rubber on it that you needed to remove the black rubber out of here. I am wondering maybe if this was one that kind of came out in the middle of the run. So maybe it never shipped with the black and it was just siliconed either at the dealership or at steel. I don't know if anyone can confirm any of that, but you know, for the saw not really being used that much, uh, nothing else is modded on it. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe that's something that the dealers did or steel did while they were changing the production run away from the gasketed filter bases. I also wanted to pull this off. I did look at this a little bit and I am going to clean out the inside uh, so that everything is perfect for when the um, max flow gets in. So let me just take these bolts off. But man, like everything is just perfect. There, there are no tool marks on any of the uh, bolts or screws or anything. Um, you'll see the pictures at the end of the cylinder. Take this off. You can see, I mean, all this stuff is just, there's, there's no sawdust. There's nothing on it. Um, pull this off. Uh, once again, I'm going to clean some of this stuff off just a little bit. But I mean, look at this. It's spotless inside. There's, you know, there's nothing in this chamber. There's some, you know, a little bit of sawdust down here that I'm going to clean off. The breather, I was shocked to see it wasn't cracked due to age. Uh, but everything is just, you know, super clean. Uh, I was amazed when I pulled this apart how, how clean everything was. So there is the new saw for me to put some real use on it. It's not going to be, a, you know, a shelf queen. I am going to run this. And like I said, I really want to see if this becomes the main saw for me over my uh, 046. So um, it's kind of interesting, you know, doing some research on these once again, since I wasn't cutting a 95 to see that, you know, there's no adjustment on here for uh, a winter or summer mode. There's no, you know, spot to even attach something on when I, when I took this cover off. Um, and, you know, there's no rubber like you see on the other saws here that would shoot the hot air onto the um, carburetor. So if anyone sees anything on this that looks weird or has any comments, please post below. I, I would love to learn more. It's just, you know, what I've gathered off the internet and looking at other videos. 
Uh, the real big question for me is, I mean, you can see on this close up, whoever did this did a super clean job of plugging those holes. It's not even necessary, honestly, because if you look, it's outside. So it's not even gonna, you know, put it in there. But, you know, someone did that. I'm wondering if it was the prior owner or if it was a steel or steel dealer thing with the guidance to, um, you know, remove the rubber or whatever the deal was. So if you have information on that, I, I would love to learn about it. Um, look for some videos coming on this and I will keep everyone updated. You know, this probably is a really good saw for the trees that I cut uh, size wise. I'll probably run up to like a 28 on it because I'm cutting all hardwood. But uh, I will keep everyone updated. But yeah, I had to share and look for some more videos coming on this saw. Um, I'll put those photos in now. I hope everyone has a good one. Please comment below if you have any information kind of on this production run. Like I said, I think it is a 1995 saw and that seems to be where there were starting to be a lot of changes uh, in this model um, because of the, the filter changes. So uh, hope everyone has a good one and here comes the photos now. Thanks.